Well, I think uh, the reason this school is a little bit uh, has some distinction is because because of the tradition that uh, that we work in, and that is uh, uh, the tradition of 19th century drawing and painting, and also the influence of the American Impressionists, which we combine in our teaching and in our painting. And I think it's a, it's a rich tradition that goes back uh, uh, quite some time. And by combining these two traditions, I think we are able to come up with a, uh, a sort of painting that I think is something that's somewhat distinctive. It's, uh, I think if you look at other art schools, the kind of training that you would receive would be probably less, a little less rigorous a little less uh, attention to the very traditional aspects of, of drawing and painting that we emphasize here. Y you almost need to see visual images uh, next to each other to, s to maybe see these, uh, uh, how, s how this school maybe differs from other art schools, but I think they would be quite dramatic if you were to, to, to look at them carefully, maybe even not so carefully. Well, the reason we paint from life is because uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, train the eye to perceive nature as it really is, and that means the scales have to fall from the eyes, and for that to happen, uh, it takes many years of uh, uh, careful study uh, of the visual world to, to be able to represent that on canvas. So it's, it's really uh, not something you can be, that you can obtain from photographs, this visual study of nature. It's something that has to be, to be done from life. That's where you're going to get the richness of value and, and uh, color and uh, uh, sense of dimension. So it's, it's, it's very important that uh, the student who wants to paint in this realistic vein uh, work directly from nature rather than uh, working from uh, visual props, photographs, and that sort of thing. Part of the uh, tradition that we are uh, partake of is uh, this uh, Impressionist uh, tradition, and that's something that we, uh, as uh, a lot of painters, find very intriguing because it offers the, uh, the painter a richness of color and uh, description of atmosphere in the painting that uh, can express a real joyful uh, reaction on the painter's part uh, towards nature, and that's something that I myself am very, very interested in. I've been intrigued by that for a long time, especially just the uh, the study of color, which is, is fascinating in itself. But the, uh, uh, this uh, classical realist tradition also uh, incorporates the, uh, the Impressionist uh, uh, viewpoint, especially the, the uh, American Impressionists who were um, painters who incorporated both the 19th century tradition of drawing and composition and that sort of thing with uh, the freshness of color and the impressionist way of seeing things, that sense of giving a, a, a painting uh, this uh, I, a sense of focus where the uh, center of interest in the painting, that which the artist really wants to bring out in the painting, is, is uh, uh, probably described with uh, uh, greater emphasis than the things that uh, are, are not in that center of interest. So these impressionist ways of seeing have have, were incorporated by the uh, uh, American Impressionist painters, especially the Tan, Benson, and DeCamp, and Paxton, etc. And um, they came up with, I think, a very uh, unique, uh, well, a synthesis of those uh, two approaches, but which was uh, something that was uh, uh, fairly unique, uh, something pretty distinct from the French Impressionist painters. So this, uh, this Impressionist painting is something that a lot of painters uh, find very attractive. It's it's uh, uh, painting from nature, especially painting outdoors. For me, is is a very exhilarating exper experience, and uh, uh, individuals tend to uh, individual painters tend to lean in certain directions. And I guess I'm really attracted to impressionist painting. I'm also, though, on the other hand, attracted to imaginative painting, which is something I like to pursue. But uh, uh, the past few years, what I've been focusing on is is, is impressionist painting. And it's, uh, it's something that each painter will discover for himself as he progresses on the path of painting, what he enjoys most. Part of the uh, uh, 
training in this tradition is the uh, emphasis on acquiring the eye of the master. What that means is training the, the eye to perceive the visual world as it is. And it's something that's a very uh, time-consuming uh, thing. It's, it's a process which, which takes a long time, but it's, it's probably one of the most important aspects of the training because without the ability to perceive nature accurately in terms of color and shape and value and that sort of thing, it's obviously difficult to represent things convincingly on canvas, so it's very important that this uh, visual eye be obtained by the student. And it's, it's something that, uh, that goes back centuries, this uh, emphasis on, on seeing nature as it is. So it's, it's, it's a part of the tradition that's it's, it's extremely important. And so the idea is that the, uh, the teacher has acquired or is, an, is acquiring the eye because it's a very long process. It's really a lifelong process, but uh, at some point the teacher gains a certain mastery over representing uh, nature and essentially tries to make the scales fall from the student's eyes so that the student begins to perceive nature uh, as it really is so that um, the student can incorporate that uh, into uh, his or her own painting. The basic structure of the atelier program is uh, essentially a, it's, it's a four or five year program and the students uh, progress really at an individual rate so that the instructor will work with each individual student according to his or her own rate of progress. So the uh, essentially the, the beginning exercises that a student works on are, are, are fairly simple. So the, the fundamental exercises would be uh, you would work in uh, black and white and charcoal uh, basically for the first year. You would work on uh, study from plaster casts in charcoal and you would also work from uh, nature meaning you would work from the live model in charcoal and also in pencil. So the first year and in some cases uh, longer the, re the emphasis is uh, working in black and white and once the student has acquired some degree of mastery over that, then they would progress to black and white painting. They would work uh, on black and white studies from the live nude. And also simultaneously, they would be beginning to work on simple uh, exercises, simple still lives in color. So you, the student will gradually uh, work towards more complicated uh, uh, exercises. And throughout the four or five year program, essentially the student is learning to see nature. That's what the real emphasis is. Uh, we also cover um, and emphasize composition and other aspects of painting, of course, but this idea of learning to see nature is, is a very important one. Um, and once the student has worked in, on these uh, more fundamental exercises, say the still life in color and the black and white nude, then they will progress to more complicated exercises such as um, uh, more complicated still life painting, uh, uh, head studies in color, and then finally I think the most complicated uh, study would be that of the, uh, uh, the color nude. And that's something the student would work on, would work on in their later years as a student. Uh, one of the things that we also emphasize here at uh, Atelier Le Sur is uh, landscape painting. We work on uh, landscape painting several weeks in the fall and also in the spring because we feel that it's an important part of the uh, academic training. For those painters who are interested in uh, impressionist painting, of course, it's important, but also those painters who are interested in more uh, imaginative painting, I think they'll find that uh, working with landscape painting will refine their skills in composition and color and value. So it's, uh, it's an important part of the program as well. So essentially that's, that's the program that we offer at Atelier Lesseur. It's this uh, four or five year program with a real emphasis on, on learning to see nature. One of the things that we teach here at Atelier Lesseur is landscape painting because we feel that it's an important part of the um, academic training as well as the studio work. And it's something that I'm personally really um, interested in doing something I find really uh, exciting. It's a real exhilarating thing to be outside painting landscapes. And it's a, it's a challenge too. There's uh, uh, 
there are certain things that you discover when you get outside that are way beyond your control. Things that you do in the studio are under pretty con controlled conditions as far as lighting and that sort of thing. When you get outdoors, suddenly you discover that um, the light changes dramatically sometimes. It may be you go from sunny to cloudy, uh, uh, very overcast. Uh, so and you're also maybe sometimes fighting the elements. There's <laughs> Uh, a lot of interesting uh, stories that landscape painters can tell about uh, fighting the elements and also um, insects, uh, even uh, interested passers-by who can be pretty obnoxious as well. Every bit as obnoxious as the, um, the elements and the bugs. But uh, anyway, it's a very exhilarating experience to try and capture the look of nature outdoors. And it's, it's something that's a great challenge. The sun is just constantly shifting across the sky, which changes the patterns of light and dark. So what it does is it, it forces you to go after, rather quickly, uh, the look of nature. So a lot of Impressionist landscape painting has a real immediacy to it. Because um, when you're working under those condi conditions, you have to work very rapidly. You have to really think quickly on your feet. And you have to learn to compose and put things together very quickly on canvas. And usually what students start to do is they start working on smaller exercises and uh, gradually work towards larger, more complicated paintings. Um, although landscape painting, a lot of the landscape painting is done on location, uh, on the spot, um, the painter also finds it's, it's necessary quite often to bring the painting back into the studio to complete it because there just isn't enough time to do all that work outdoors, especially when it gets into the refining of the painting, um, working on uh, composition, compositional aspects that you can't uh, work on outdoors. But it's, it's, uh, it's something that uh, if, you have, if you're inclined towards uh, uh, working outdoors, if you are intrigued by nature, you're gonna, you, you may find it an exhilarating experience as a painter. Another important aspect of uh, painting is the study of anatomy when it comes to painting figures and portraits and that sort of thing. So it's important that the student uh, begin to, to study that aspect so that they can convincingly indicate in, in their paintings that sense of structure or form that uh, describes uh, the object that they're painting, whether it's a person or some other object, convincingly. So in, in reference to figure painting, though, anatomy is, is, is a very important thing to study. And Annette Lassur, the director of the school, is uh, someone who's um, very knowledgeable on that subject. And she has taught anatomy classes at the school. And it's, it's something that um, there's, a, there's a real emphasis is on. So uh, the study of anatomy is something that's going to give your the students painting that, that sense of form and that sense of structure. Uh, so it's something that we, uh, we do emphasize uh, very much here at the, uh, at the school.